G'day there folks, I'm Beanie, you're watching Beanie Draws, and in this episode of Tutorial Tuesday, I found a nice uh, skeletal image of a Allosaurus, which has me very tempted, so you can, you can guess what I'm about to do. No, guess. <laughs> oh, anyway, all uh, silliness aside, what we're going to do is, uh, we'll start off by putting in the constraint lines mainly for me so I know that this is stuck in the right uh, put it, uh, yep I can see the pe pencil still in there so that's a good amount of um, width or space to have for this what I'm going to do is I'm going to really just quickly rough in a bit of a shape for the um, the neck and the, from the tip of the head the neck the body and the tail, just so just so I'm kind of I know that the um it's actually going to fit on the page because that's one of the, what's for these longer dinosaurs. This is one of the more challenging parts is just making sure it actually fits on the page. So I think that should be okay. That should be right. I'll put a little line in here because that will be where. Um, where the leg will be and just while we've got the leg going on um put a knee there it's going to be another leg here so i'll put a, a knee there so uh, using the circles as knee joints i'm going to put a little bit of a stick figure do the ankle do another stick figure kind of a little circle there and um putting in some little lines just to kind of get, just to roughly guess where um, things will, will go. And then um, around here we'll put in a bit of a shoulder blade, a rough, rough shoulder blade, um, put in its arm, a circle there for its elbow, then its um, forearm, and a few fingers, and that is what this is the basis for our image. Very rough basis. We'll be we'll be erasing a lot of this and moving it along, but for now this will this will be the um the foundation of our image. So I'm just gonna make it a little bit brighter, so it's not so dark. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna rough in um, some of the key points. So we'll rough in the shape of the head. Um, probably be about here looks like from the skeleton I'm using so I'm just roughing in the shape um, it, because Allosaurus has a bit of a fair nose ridge and a kind of a, a spiky lump thing around there and an eye around here we'll just I'm just going to roughly do the shape like that and it has quite a long um, quite a long neck um, and a lump mound, I guess you call it, around there. We're going to refine this quite a bit, but just for now, we're going to um, do a bit of a snake s -y kind of shape for the neck. Um, sometimes I like to draw the actual um, uh, vertebrae and the underlying skeletal features, because I think at the moment, right now, the problem is I've made the head a little bit too big or the body the body pro um, proportions are slightly off so I'm gonna what I'm doing is I'm doing a bit of a shape for the body um, doing a shape here for the chest drawing in the rough shape of the body so I kind of got a better idea of how it fits with the neck uh, seems like its back is a little bit higher up, and it seems like that's that's. I think the neck is the problem here. I did too much of a curved line for the neck. So this is kind of how you um, work around making sure that your your, prop, your position, uh, propos not propositions, proportions are on on um, on point. So around here is where there's a, a line that for the um, the chest. So now make the neck smaller. 
the uh, ridge small and then make it come down about there and then see how that works with the neck. Sometimes it can be a little bit of a challenge. Considering I've never really drawn Allosaurus before. Now what we're going to do is going to refine a little bit of that jaw. Use a bit of a line there. Um, do the jaw. The jaw um, is quite narrow. It seems that Allosaurus has quite a, um, a, a longer but narrower head compared to um, Tyrannosaurus. So um, got a bit of a, a curved line there. A sort of a sharp edge line there, and a line that goes there. And Allosaurus also seems to have a head um, brow ridge that kind of goes like that, and has a bit of a triangular end to its head. So it's kind of a bit of an angle, as opposed to Tyrannosaurus that has a bit of a, um, a squared sharp point. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put in some shapes for the skull, just loose shapes, like so. Um, we'll do a little bit of a shape for the um, the nasal passage and a shape here for where the nose goes, just to kind of give us an idea of you know, um, give us an idea of the sh the, the skull shape and such. Next what we'll do is just narrow in or narrow down the jaw because it doesn't have a thick jaw like um, like Tyrannosaurus. It's got closer to a Velociraptor or a Deinicius, um jaw. And it also seems to have a bit of a line like that. So, you know, you, pro you probably know from my tutorials that I don't usually do circles. I don't do like circles and shapes to build up the dinosaurs. I just hopefully my explanations kind of make a little bit of sense. I know, like some of you guys have been telling me that you know I've helped you draw, but you wish that you could draw like me, which you know that's very flattering. Thank you very much. Also, it I find it a bit of a challenge to try and because I don't do these tutorials very much. This is like I think my third or fourth month of um, having this channel, so I, while you guys are learning to draw from me, I am learning to do, try, trying to learn to make my tutorials more coherent and more easier to follow, so something, so I'm learning while you guys are learning, <laughs> so um, hopefully you guys can follow my shapes, there's a bit of a triangular shape up there, um, Seems like there's a... we'll put the eye around here. And the nose ridge seems to go up around there. Because of the smaller nature of... because we're doing the whole dinosaur as opposed to just the head, we're not going to focus a huge amount on detail in this one. I do have another video that I'm working on at the moment, which I don't know when that will be uploaded. It will be uploaded at some point, which focuses on just the head. So, um, that video should be, that video I think turned out to be fairly good, so hopefully you guys can follow that one along. Just gonna refine the shape of that jaw. I think that works. Now, what I'm gonna do is have the head, the, um, the back of the neck, kind of going like this. Um, this may be a, not the best of tutorials. I'm, try I'm trying to learn as, as I go along. Got a bit of a curve going on, a curve going down into the shoulder, which then seems to move into a more flat, rigid shape for the back and the um, spine. So like that. Um, I'm just going to refine this neck line. So don't follow too much on the light lines, follow on my darker lines. Then I'm going to, I'm going to draw in a loose um, shape for the, for the shoulder blade, and then work around from there. Put the shoulder, uh, the, yeah, the shoulder in there. That'd also be the chest. 
And I think the sho um, the arms would probably start around here. So I'm going to do a two lines, slightly curved, not straight, sl very, very, very slightly curved um, for the arms. And I'm going to just put some wrinkle lines, for, you know, because dinosaur moves its arms, so you put little wrinkle lines. I usually put, like, around here, I'm going to put little, you know, just some wrinkle lines for where I think, you know, wrinkle lines where the where the body would move so the head would move up and down so you have little wrinkle lines to indicate that it would move its head up and down and along the neck you draw some little wrinkle lines because you know it's got a flexible neck and we're also actually right now I'm going to put in a a loose line for the um, neck vein because I assume that they'd all have jugulars so that's kind of be, going to be for that. It's a little bit like Carnotaurus when you think about it, except it's got a, well, no, it's not a little bit like Carnotaurus. It's quite different, but it's, um, it's kind of like Tyrannosaurus, except it's got much longer arms, and its body is, seems to me to be thinner and narrower. So I'm just going to put in the body there. There seems to be a, ooh, looking at its um, skeleton, it seems its pelvis is strangely shaped like this. It's got a bit of a curve, a, a, a quite defined curve actually, and then curves down into about that shape, um, and then kind of goes triangular, then another weird kind of curved shape there. Think of it like a, a semicircle really. And then it's got another weird shape going out there. It's actually got quite a strange pelvis to be honest. Um, so we'll just draw in the, the rest of that pelvis. It kind of has a bit of a shape here. I I wouldn't recommend going into do too much detail into the pelvis. It's just the pelvis gives you a good idea of where you know its um its body would line up. So you you have you have you follow along the rib cage, which for the record the rib cage finishes around there. There's a line there, but you kind of have a line that goes from the chest down through the torso and stomach and then it kind of curves out here you draw it a little bit of a lump for where the um the pelvic bone is and then you you uh, follow that line up to the other part of the pelvic bone because you know it seems most dinosaurs have two lines or two um bones for the pelvis so you draw that then you draw the curve to about where the tail would go so what i'll do is i'll draw a line you know I won't worry too much here about the skeletal feature, but around here, it's got a bit of a um, bit of a t um, tail vertebrae that goes like that. It's got some. It seems to have some. Um, I'm doing these very l light. The um, vertebrae along here, and it seems to have some vertebrae vertebr vertebral. <laughs> I don't know. I'm making up words. I really shouldn't. Vertebrae lines here. Oh, vertebrae vertebrae bones um what would vertebra but what is the singular form of calling vertebrae <laughs> maybe it's just vertebrae um anyway just you know you get it you draw those lines that's like the rough indication where the bottom of the tail would be because you know you just form your muscles on top of those bone structures so we'll draw that tail in give it a bit of a curve tapering it down to the end of the tip of the tail. Um, for this one I'm going to have the tip of the tail actually curved more down. Seems some dinosaurs are drawn that way, so I'm going to draw it that way too. Just going to erase that line. And now I'm just going to... Oh, what am I doing there? I knocked something over, I think. Did I? No, I didn't. Anyway, there we go going to follow the um, spine of the Allosaurus down, pass through the hip, and then continuing from that, um, the tail and tapering it down till we get to the tip. So, like so. Now, for the next part of this Allosaurus, what we're going to do is we're going to put in a bone. 
going to put some lines up here. Um, the skeleton that I'm using, um, its legs are in a certain position, but I think I'm going to change them slightly, I think. It has a bit of a bone here. I'm, I'm actually going to draw the bones just to make it a little bit easier to um, decide on where the leg joints and how thick these joints will be. So I'm just going to draw. I won't describe too much on how to draw these. I'm just going to draw them and you can watch. Um, I think it might be a little bit too high that, that ball joint. So I'll make the ball joint up there. Seems to have a bit of a... I don't know what you call that part of the bone. The knee joint, I guess. Seems that, like humans seem to have a bit of a knee joint like that as well, but we've got a um a knee cap. But anyway, um, we'll draw the bone that goes down to the ankle. I do believe I've actually posted my video now of um the drawing tutorial of how to do dance of um the basic foundation is of doing feet. So what I'm doing now is basically from that video, I'm drawing in the um the skeleton and then I'll form the feet over the top of that. Um I'll see if I can remember to put a um a link annotation to that video, but if I forget to, I apologize. You you should be able to find it in my in my um list of videos now. Just gonna turn it around like that. So that seems okay. Then I'm gonna put another bone in here just just so I know that it um that the feet it seemed to be in the right position. So I'm gonna do that leg there. Make the bone it kinda goes like that. And then draw the it seems like, maybe maybe based on the drawing that I'm working from, um, it it seems like it has a short um, heel or ankle, whatever you call that bone. But I'm going to put in the, the two, and put the sort of put the turn out the two um, bones in, but won't put, worry about too much. Seems to be one, two. And then a long bone. And there's one, two, three, four in the middle foot, it seems. Then I'm going to put in the padding underneath the foot. Don't think you'll be able to see too well in this part, but um, I'm just going with it. Um, drawing the, that line a bit more thicker. Then I'm going to do the ankle. Bring it up to the knee. And then curve that line around, and you can just kind of imagine that it would be going up into the into the hip. So I will do the same around here. I'm gonna do a calf muscle that comes down to the ankle, like so. And I think I'll do the same here. I'm gonna now build a line that moves from the hip because the muscle will move the knee up um, that's I, I think that's saying more of an uh, nat, um, a animation anatomy tutorial that I wouldn't be able to do well I can do anatomy but not an animation tutorial but for the idea of muscle contractions and expanding to allow for the legs to move up and down you probably learn about something like that in your um, physical education PE um, classes in school back in the day, or currently, depending on you know if you've if you're still in school or if you've just finished school or whatever. But um, yeah, just like usually, it's a good idea to always think about your muscle structures and where the bone sits underneath the dinosaur while you're drawing it. As you can see here, the the um, shoulder structure you will you will definitely see. A, um, a shoulder structure, like if you look at a horse you'll see the rib cage underneath even if it's a healthy horse you should still see a bit, a slight amount of um, of shading which would be usually where the rib cage sits and you'll usually see the pelvic bone and you'll usually see the shoulder bone and then you'll see like some of the muscles connecting it, like you'll see the skin but you see all that structure underneath the skin in its um, in its curves 
So always think about those aspects when you're drawing as well, just to make your drawings more realistic. So we'll draw the um, the calf muscle for Allosaurus. See, I've 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 wanted to draw Allosaurus for a while. I've, I was only going to draw the head, but then I saw this um this skeleton. I actually quite like the look of the skeleton, so that's why I decided to do the whole body. And then after this, I'm going to, you know, I'm do going to do what I usually do, detail it, make it look more intense, and um then upload that as probably a um time lapse. And I'm just going to put in some toes there. Oh, toe nails. You probably can't see it too well, but it's there. Draw the foot up there. And it seems to have a... seems to have, like, a little dew claw right near the bottom of its feet, actually. I'll have to examine, like, more skeletons of it down the track, but it seems to have dew claw down there, which is interesting. And then... Um, what I'll do is I'm actually going to draw a line here for um, the indication of the muscle of the tail. I won't draw it too far, just about there, and I'll do the same here. Um, actually, what I'll do is I'll erase now the vertebrae lines for the skeleton underneath because we don't need them anymore. smudgy here. So I'll draw a bit of a line there for the muscle of the tail. And then I'm going to do like a bit of a some curved line, uh, some random lines there. Even though the pelvis actually is around here, so its leg wouldn't be very long. It, it's, its leg doesn't look quite like a Velociraptor or a T-Rex, I don't think, so I'll erase those lines, but kind of have a bit of a bit of a shape there some wrinkles for the movement some kind of uh, movement um, wrinkle movement lines <coughs> um, now we're just going to do the um, hands M uh, fairly similar I think to Velociraptor I think um, it seems to have a claw the, the way this person drew their claw the claw kind of is coming out this way, I'm going to do it the other way, just because it seems like it'd make more sense. And I was reading um, some dinosaur articles, and I have learnt the most strangest thing. Like, I wasn't quite the fan of, you know, the idea of Tyrannosaurus having downy feathers, possibly as an infant and maybe as an adult. But, you know, that's something I can wrap my head around. Apparently... Triceratops was an omnivore. It, some scientists believe that because of the the, the str um, strength of its jaw, that it would have actually eaten meat as well. And they starting to think that Triceratops might have been more like a wild boar, which is interesting. But hey, Spinosaurus. Um, the reason why I've drawn Spinosaurus so differently now to what you people um, have suggested it actually does look like is because that re that um, new discovery of Spinosaurus and the changing of its skeleton is from 2014. That was last year, so that's a very recent change as far as I'm concerned. So that is my excuse for drawing Spinosaurus the way I've always drawn it for now. But you know, I guess over time, Evolution, we learn new things and new discoveries, and we just have to slowly, slowly become accustomed to it. Um, there's a finger. Uh, ooh, there's a vibration of my phone. There's a, um, a claw. Uh, it seems that um, Allosaurus has three claws. I probably should have brought the camera in a bit closer, but I think you kind of can still see it. And then we'll give it a big claw here. It seems to have a big third claw. So I'll work like that. And just so we know that, you know, it doesn't have one of its arms chopped off, I think um, I'll have its other arm kind of this way. Basically mirroring mirroring this arm. I'm doing the uh, wrist and because this is on the other side, it's bigger 
quad finger is will be on the inside just like that but it'll it'll be like facing us if that makes sense probably doesn't but hey I'll probably do more tutorials down the track I'll try to explain things better maybe I can include um, Allosaurus's hands in my tutorial that I want to do at some point on how to do dinosaur hands that might work because I find their I find their hands interesting but I think focusing a whole section on just hands would make some tutorials go too long we're already up to the nearly 30 minute mark and I'm trying to keep it to about this length so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to erase the bones and as you can see I didn't use a brilliant eraser the eraser I use is actually fairly poor quality I should have used my needable eraser so I'm just going to have to fix up some of these smudged lines now I'm just going to try a different eraser actually, Make see if this one works better. Oh, it already seems like it's working a better treat. Like, I can feel the quality, I can feel the quality in each eraser slightly different. Um, this one seems to be a harder composite or whatever you want to call it, which makes erasing hard lines, it, it, instead of smearing it up, Instead of smearing the lines around, uh, the um, lead around, it seems to just um, erase and rub it off. I'm just going to erase some more of my lines and then I'm going to refine things a bit. So now I'm just going to refine the lines and make them look a bit nicer. Probably not one of my best um, tutorials. I mean, I, I think I could probably draw it a lot better, but I'm trying to keep this down to about um, 30 minutes as much as I can, so I might do this tutorial again as I practice how to draw the Allosaurus, but I don't know, it seems okay for now. I, I would have liked to have done it a lot better, but, you know, some of my tutorials are great, some of them, yeah, they're, they're alright, some of them are fairly average and not just alright, some of them are, in my opinion anyway, I mean, I'm sure people will be like, oh, this is good anyway, I liked it as it was, so, I, I'm preempting, I'm preempting the compliments, but, um, and I just, I, I kind of think it should look a little bit different, but, there's a line for, um, the calf muscle, by the way, but yeah, I just, I don't know, First go, I, I don't know if I like it that much, but, you know, I'll, um, it's something. I think I just need to refine it a bit more, shape it up a bit. That's basically what you do once you've, you, once you've drawn it, you just shape in it further. So I'm going to draw in the teeth, because it's such a small scale now, I'm just drawing the teeth very tiny. I think, um, my drawing, my tutorial for its head only is much better. Um, I will, once I start doing the detailing of it in, um, pen, with this form, with this version, then it might look a bit better. Eh, it's not that, oh, then, that said also, the image I'm using is a skeleton. What I've done is put the skin over the top of the skeleton, so that will naturally make it look different anyway, so maybe I don't have to worry about anything. <laughs> it's not too bad. Maybe I'll just put some extra little details just to make it look a little bit more, uh, give it a bit of extra life, so I'm just going to give some random curved lines here for, for like, um, skin folds and muscle indications and Probably will put some like um hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, wait.
so I'm just gonna put in some more lines. These are just like random lines. They're just like I said, just to put in some, give it a bit of depth. Maybe I'll give it a slight little bit of sh a very, very, very light amount of shading as well, just to kind of give it an extra little bit of life. So like so, bit of a rendering under the chest and the, the stomach. It's going to give the jaw a harder edge, just to make the line, the lines fairly consistent throughout the image. I will be refining this properly with um pen, because um, I just I want it to look a little bit more intense and detailed. That that'll be another video, but um that'll be time lapse, like I mentioned before, I think. But for now, I think that will do. So um, let me know what you think about this video. Hopefully, it, hopefully it didn't disappoint those people who wanted an L source. Um, I will be probably doing it again, but I don't know. Maybe I think maybe just the head was maybe a little bit too big. Maybe if I just make the head a little bit smaller, that might make. I think yeah, actually that's. I think that's probably the the part that's um, messed up slightly. Um, I'll leave it like that for now. Um, I might, I'll, I'll probably refine that part later, but um, for now, that's, that, I think that's not too bad. Thanks for watching. If you learned something, hit that subscribe button, give it a like, comment on what you thought, what you'd like to see, all that good stuff, and I will have more for you in the future. So thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Cheerio!